Hi, Free School. I have some stories for you, and look at my little Easter friend here. Isn't she cute? Her name is Tulip. She used to be mine when I was little. And you want to know what? My mommy, Lala, you guys know Lala, she made the hat for this Easter bunny. Isn't she so cute? Say hi, it's preschool, Tulip. Hi, preschool. It's cat. Good morning, or maybe afternoon, depending when you're watching this. Aren't you excited for Easter? I can just wiggle my little Easter bunny to you. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, you guys all look so cute out there. Oh, look at you all. Oh, hi, I like your rooms. Ooh, I like your houses. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tulip, it's time for a story. So, shh. Oh, sorry. Okay, you want to sit next to me? Yeah. All right, scooch in. Woo! A little tight. All right, there you go. I have some fun books for us. I have this book, I Know Why We Have Easter. There we have that. This silly story, Happy Easter Little Critter. And before we do those Easter ones, I have a poem called Rainy Rainy Saturday that I would like to read to you because it's probably raining. Now, if not right now, it probably will later. Here's the picture. Rainy, rainy Saturday. It's Saturday, and what a pain. No school today, but lots of rain. And mother tells me when it pours, the weather's bad, so stay indoors. There's the mommy with the little baby sister. And there's the boy. He's not happy about not getting to play outside. I'd rather go out in the yard, but no, it's raining much too hard. So I will stay inside and play this rainy, rainy Saturday. There's my little blocks, with the cars. What kind of things do you do inside? That's about it, that's it, yeah, that's it. I'll read you one more though out of this book. It's a bunch of poems, somersaults. Oh boy. It's fun turning somersaults and bouncing on the bed. I walk on my hands and I stand on my head. I swing like a monkey and I tumble and I shake. I stretch and I bend, but I never, never break. I wiggle like a worm and I wriggle like an eel. I hop like a rabbit and I flop like a seal. I leap like a frog and jump like a flea. There must be a rubber band inside of me. Now, as a mommy and a teacher, I think each and every one of you children have a rubber band inside of you, especially when it rains. I think everyone would agree with that. <laughs> this book has lots of fun poems. I'll do more another time. Because now we have to get down to business of Easter. It's the last time we're going to read Easter stories before the break. So I want to make sure I got some good ones in. This one first. Happy Easter Little Critter by Mer Mercer Mayer. It's Easter morning. I bet the Easter Bunny has already come. In his room, and there he is, laying in bed. Now, here's a little something I want you guys to notice while I read this story. Our little mouse friend is gonna be on every page. See if you can find him as I read the book. I'll quietly tip downstairs and find all the Easter goodies before anyone else wakes up. But as usual, my little sister is up before me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh no, she beat him to it. Silly little sister. I got a toy egg that you can look into, a wind-up bunny and some chocolate chickens, a bunch of chocolate eggs and millions of jelly beans. The Easter Bunny gave my little sister the same thing. Look at that. <laughs> dad says that we won't, my dad says so that we won't argue. Mom says, we can't eat any of our chocolate or our candies until after breakfast. Yep, that sounds about right. That's what I would say too. 
Healthy food first. Actually, after dinner. Or after dinner. After breakfast, we have to get dressed for church. Dad starts the car and we all get in. Look how happy his sister looks about being fancy. Does the brother look happy about it? Not no. as much. No. <laughs> so cute. Oh, look, he's something to say. My little sister likes to get all dressed up, but I don't. Do you guys like getting dressed up? Oh, yeah, definitely. At church, I can't see anything because everyone is wearing funny hats. Look at all the ladies in his church. They're all wearing big Easter bonnets. What are bonnets? Like, like my friend Tulip. See? Oh, yeah. On Easter, you wear big hats. Wow, I saw that traditionally. I don't think people really do that anymore, but in the olden days. After church, all the kids die Easter eggs. Have you guys done that yet? Mm -hmm. It is so much fun. Oh, look at the brother spilled on the sister. Oh my goodness. Why? Why on the sister? By mistake. I think my eggs are the best. <laughs> that kind of looks like some of ours is a little bit cracked and smushed. Oh. I'll just stick my fingers in there. While the eggs dry, we have a big picnic lunch. Mmm, hot dogs. Yum, 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 yum. He looks happy about that. What are you guys eat at Easter? Maybe some biscuits. We, like, we usually have like ham or something. Then our parents hide the eggs in a field. We're not supposed to peek. Uh, excuse me, what are they all doing? Next, we all line up. <laughs> and what do they do? It's <laughs> and run into the field to find the eggs. Hurry, hurry. <gasps> Nick, it said, go. <gasps> oh my goodness. Sometimes too many kids find the same egg. Yep, I've seen that happen, fighting over an egg. Look at them. Sometimes you walk right by an egg and Someone else finds it. Uh -huh. Hey, the page is stuck. There we go. Sometimes the little kids don't find any, so you have to help them. Look at the daddy saying, go help that little girl. Come on, go share your eggs. Oh, oh he's helping. Look how happy he made her. Pointing stuff, look right here. But by the time we go home, everyone has had a happy Easter. Oh, that's a fun one. I like that story. Yeah. Did you like that story, Tulip? Oh, yes, I love their hat. They look like mine. It's so fashionable. I just adore it so much. <laughs> Are you ready for the next story? Or informational book, actually. Now, let's take a look-see at this. I know why we have Easter. Does anybody at home know why we have Easter? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Because of Jesus. Here we go. My name is Judith. I live in Jerusalem. Let me tell you about Jesus. He is my friend. A little girl, just like one of us. Child. I first saw Jesus when he was teaching the people out in a grassy field. I was there with my mother. My friends and I started to go to go and talk to Jesus. But one of his helpers tried to send us away. No, the helper said. Jesus doesn't have time for children. He's a busy man. Jesus heard him tell us that. 
No, no, said Jesus. Don't send the children away. Let them come to me. Jesus loves the children. Jesus loves little children. Okay. Some of the little ones climbed onto his lap, but I'm too big for that. Jesus put his hand on my head and smiled at me. He said, the kingdom of God will be made up of people who are like these little children. Jesus became my friend forever. He was your friend forever too, preschool. Look at that. It seemed that everybody loved Jesus. But after a while, lots of people didn't like him anymore. They said bad things about him. The bad things were not true, but people believed them and they began to say, crucify him. torn right here. That is what happened. They put him on a cross. I cried and I cried. But that's not the end of the story. It's only the beginning. Because he was on the middle cross, remember? Why is that only the beginning preschool? Do you remember? Because what happened on the third day? Jesus didn't stay dead. He was buried in a cave in a garden. On Sunday morning, just as the sun was rising, some women went to visit Jesus' his grave. But when they got there, the grave was open and Jesus was not there. They are very shocked and wondering. Hold on. Look at that. What? Look. You guys remember what happened? An angel. Where's my an angel was sitting on the stone, which had closed the grave. The angel said, Jesus is not here. He is risen. Wow, look how happy these ladies look. These are his friends. Ooh, I forget their names. These came. Look at here, they're shocked and worried. They think maybe somebody moved Jesus, somebody who didn't like him. But in fact, that's not true. He has risen and the angel told him so and it is true. Look at how happy they are. Good, huh? Do, 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 do. Mary Magdalene was one of the women who visited the grave. She is my mother's friend. She was so excited when she told us about it. I was standing there crying, she said. When a man came up to me, I thought he was the gardener. I said, sir, tell me, where have you taken the body of Jesus? Then the man said, Mary. And I knew. I knew it was Jesus himself. I couldn't believe it, but it was true. I saw it with my own eyes. He is alive. I know that my friend Jesus was not dead. I was happy. Look at that. Hmm. Jesus visited with his helpers after that. Then one day, he went up, 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 and disappeared into the clouds. Jesus had told his helpers that he would go to live in heaven with God, and he did. I'm glad that Jesus is still alive. He is alive forever. That's why we have Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. Now there's a passage here from the Bible and it says, Then the angel spoke to the woman. Don't be afraid. He said, I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified, but he isn't here, for he has come back to life again, just as he said he would. Now we've read lots of stories, um, fun stories about Easter bunnies and Easter eggs and Easter egg hunts. And we've read some stories about why we have Easter and the real religious reasons behind that. I hope you enjoyed all of it and I hope you guys have a very happy Easter. Bye.